All right, hey guys. Uh, new video today, obviously. Um, today I'm gonna be explaining how uh FPS counters uh can work on Scratch and how you can make one easily. So before I actually make it, I'm just gonna tell you if you don't know what FPS is. Um, FPS is basically the frames per second in each video game. Uh, the higher the FPS is, uh, the smoother and faster that your game will run. So if I were to set it to 20 frames per second, it'll run pretty bad. But if I set it to 60 or 70, then it'll run decent and actually pretty quick in some cases. Obviously, it varies between game and game. And the more uh, assets and scripts and stuff that you have in a game, the slower it might become, you know? So you might have to limit some things on your games uh, in order to get that frames per second high enough. Um, so that's just a brief explanation of frames per second. I'm actually going to show you guys an easy way to make them in this. Um, so yeah, first you'd want to make a variable called FPS counter. Right? Uh, set that to zero when you start the project. Get a forever loop. Get an if then. Go to sensing, the, sec the sensing section. Get the timer variable. Timer variable basically is the timer of each game. When you restart it, it starts back at zero and it goes up by real time uh, every second. And even when you start the, even when you stop the game, it continues to go up. Uh, you can also reset the timer right here, which we're going to actually use. Go back to operators. If, get the, uh, get the if greater than operator block put in the first input you put timer if timer is greater than one second go back to variables set the fps counter to zero but also uh, i almost forgot put change the fps counter by one constantly so let's show the fps counter right here above the timer as you can see it sets itself to zero but also, when the timer is past one, set uh, reset it, so that way it does a constant loop. As you can see, it goes up pretty high. We don't actually want it to go crazy like that, because that'll cause a lot of FPS problems. People won't understand it. So, set a simple block that'll prevent that from happening. Let's say, forever show. And that way, it goes up slowly. As you can see, it's rising up to 30, if you look closely. It rises up to 30 or 20 something. Just so you know, Scratch runs at 30 frames per second. Uh, I think I've said this before in a past video. Um, you're going to want to make a new variable called FPS. Oh, FPS4. Okay. Set that variable to zero. Uh, also, when the timer is greater than one, reset the timer. Set the frames per second to the frames per second counter. And then afterwards, set the FPS counter to zero. That way, when we restart it, there you go. We have a functioning FPS counter. Um, basically, the way that this works, and this is just an easier way for people who still don't understand, um, the FPS is setting itself to the counter number the second or like the millisecond before the timer resets. That's basically how it counts. It goes up by the amount of by how quick it says. So, like I said earlier, higher the frame, the higher the frames per second, the smoother and faster your game is. So, if I were to, so if Scratch's website was sixty frames per second, um, then we would be getting sixty frames or sixty one, sixty two, you know, in that area. So yeah, that's basically a good way to, you know, set up a frames per second counter. Um, a little warning, a couple warnings, uh, and some advice. Don't set this to change by two because it's not actually, you have to set it to one or else you'll be duplicating the amount of frames per second that it actually is. So only change it by one. Um, if you're already using the, the, the timer variable, you can make a new variable called in-game timer or, you know, FPS timer, something like that. And basically do the same thing except replace the timer variable with reset time, with set it to zero instead of reset timer, you know. Set it to zero when it starts. That's just a little advice for that. Um, this does not change. The FPS does not change how the game runs. It only tells you how fast the game is running. It doesn't affect the game negatively. And it does actually help you 
to make sure, um, you know, check if anything's lacking your game. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this little video. Um, if you did, leave a like, share it with the people that you know that would like it, that, that would enjoy these types of videos. Um, so yeah, take care. Thanks for watching my video.